what gets people up in the morning. That shot right there. That's what gets people up and at them on a Saturday morning. What is up, y'all? Hope y'all having a great day. Out here at Legends, we're going to be playing the front nine at the south course. Got Matt and Andrew. Today's round is going to be a nine-hole vlog. I'm just going to be playing nine holes. Matt's going to be caddying for Andrew. This is going to be the evaluation to see what breaking score Andrew's going to be striving for in some upcoming content. We'll keep you updated there. We're just going to go out there and uh, kind of see where Andrew's game is at. I know. It's business time. I mean, no jokes. It's strictly business. Looking forward to it, though. Let's do it. We're just going to take you straight to the tee right now. Let's go. Number one, par four. For 382 yards. Ooh, that is not a bad start right there. What's up? Left side of the fairway. I can't see the ball down to save my life. <laughs> Swing there. Unfortunately, I think he outdrove me. This is our professional's caddy. No clubs, chips and a drink. By the way, jalapeno chips. Well, when you have your pupil hitting at 320 down the middle of the fairway, it's pretty easy. You just sit back, have your little snacks, and go about your day. All right, good shape right here. 105 yards left, middle pin. Should be about pin high, in good shape. Because we're in a little bit of a hurry today, I'm not gonna capture all of Andrew's shots. Just kinda wanna keep you updated on his score. We'll get a few shots, a little bit of the talk amongst the caddy player between Andrew and Matt, and then I'll be capturing all my shots. We're gonna see if we can break par today. Let's go. Pin slammer on the first, let's go! Alrighty, this is Andrew's par putt right here. He missed the green left, chipped it to here. Go. Good putt. Work. Easy bogey. Bogey. You know what? We'll take it. Haven't played in a while. Not a bad start. Felt like I hit a lot of good shots. That Glad you're correct. worried about your birdies and not my my game. Number two, par four, 433 yards, pretty straight away. Too high, let it fly. Nice. Good one. So my boy Andrew here almost got fouled up. The tee box actually sends you straight out of bounds into the hazard. So we have to align across the tee box to go to the fairway. Very common mistake amateurs do is they follow the tee box and you hit it out of play even though you hit great shots. So we're trying to avoid that situation. Great shots. That's all I took from it. Hold it. Might be playable. Yesterday we were filming my stingers with the TrackMan numbers. So I hit a lot of stingers yesterday, which is a down left swing. Not ideal for driver. That's why those first couple drivers were kind of like a little spinny cut. Both in play, both found the fairway. So definitely happy with that. Hopefully we'll get grooving with the driver swing here shortly. You told him to aim further right and he hit it right. Of further right. <laughs> <laughs> That. I was just doing what I was told. <laughs> My hands are tied. Good shape right here. 165 yards left to a back left hole location. A little into the breeze. We're going with eight iron. Okay, so I did not even capture Andrew's swing right there. Oh man. What was that? Well, you remember that speech in the movie Miracle that was given that 
the Russians would have beat them nine times out of ten. I think Andrew might have mentioned something about that before. This was one out of ten. Right there. One out of ten. Amazing. One out of a million. He's over there in the weeds. And I'm going to zoom in right here. Do you all see that ball right next to the cup? Yep, that's it. My shot back there, I did pull a little bit. It's just off the green. When that ball's above your feet, make sure you adjust your line further right than normal because it is going to have a tendency to go left when the ball's above your feet. Just something to consider. Probably should have considered that a bit more on that shot. Those kind of shots make people at home cry. I mean, that's reminiscent of... To be completely honest, I don't watch a whole lot of golf, so I'm trying to think of famous golf shots. Phil Mickelson, out of the woods. That's the only golf shot I can ever remember seeing. Beautiful. I mean, got out of trouble. Just got out of trouble. I mean, that's a professional golf shot. I think he was calling me a professional amateur golfer. That's a professional, professional, professional golf shot. I mean, where did that come from? I have no idea. Nowhere. That, that was, was the, absurd. That's what gets people up in the morning. That <laughs> shot right there. That's what gets people up and at them on a Saturday morning. It, what is it? 130? Yeah. Are you serious? What That's a pin a slammer. Get the feet. Get the feet. <laughs> Heel clicker. Let's go. in with the four. Andrew, I'm really sorry I didn't capture that on video. That might be the best shot I've ever seen you hit. That was beautiful. It, I don't even know what to say. You get every other shot. You get me breaking my driver head. <laughs> but you can't get that masterpiece. I mean, that was mwah, beautiful. Come on. You're even par. <laughs> yeah. I mean, <laughs> through two. It looks like we're going to do a break and par challenge to start. Yeah, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Yeah, we probably should wait. Number three, par three, 145 yards, front left hole location. Oh, no. You probably got that on camera. I did. Of course. It's <laughs> in the hazard. Get in there. Woo. Good one. And that's what we like to see. Controlling the flight. That was a three quarter nine iron right there. Hit it exactly pin high. Just a couple feet left for another pin slammer. Let's go. Andrew did find it. Uh, not the best shape. What do you got for me, Matt? Well, luckily it's not really thick. It's kind of thin. So I think you should be able to take your pitching wedge and kind of use like that low kind of chip technique or low pitch technique and try to keep it right over that red state, just left of the bunker. And if we can get it just to that front or onto the green, we're in business. A little long, but we will take that all day. All day. We're in with the tweeter. Andrew with the monster two putt right there, air pound. Thank you. I mean, good birdie, good birdie. We're playing good golf. I mean, you're one so, over. I, yeah, I'm as surprised as you are, as surprised as the fans back at home are. I mean, we've got people losing their mind. I just got out of trouble. Quick up and down on, well, well actually that's not how that works. Up <laughs> and two putt down. Up and two putt down. You know what, from where I was, I would take that every time. I'm just hoping we haven't found the peak. <laughs> Some caddy. A, he doesn't even carry my bag. I don't know what's up with that. I haven't seen Tiger Woods carry his own bag. That's crazy. And he leaves his trash in my bag and doesn't even throw it away. No respect. What's the scoreboard say? Uh, best round ever? I think it says best round ever. Valid. <laughs> Number four, par four, 381 yards straight away. Some bunkers left, so we're gonna play it out just a little to the right.
We're good. Juice that one just a little bit, a little long left. Not our best wedge shot right there. Ball ended up back here on the back edge, roughly 35 feet left for birdie. It's a four here on four. Bring you live to Andrew. Yep, so we had a drop go left. I had to take a drop. Bladed it over the green. Bladed the pitch shot to here. This is for bogey. That was really good speed. Considering the circumstances, well done. Okay. Had to obviously take a drop after that drive. Thought I was going to be able to find it. It was too thick. Not great. What is that? Three over, Zach? Three over total. What'd you end up with? Par. Oh, there we go. Two under, three over. Playing all right. Number five here, 347 to the pin. But you know what? Let's just take a quick moment of silence for my driver. You may remember uh, my driver died. So, moment of silence. But you know what? We're on to bigger and better things. The M6 has treated me well. We almost had the same. <laughs> this hole is so in my head. So a mentor of mine, you know, we like to talk about golf's a mental game. He goes, golf's not mental. People, people are mental. And in this case, Andrew got owned by this tee box. <laughs> all in all, Andrew, I will say it was a positive move in the right direction on this tee. At least you still have your driver. I'm not gonna lie, I think I loosened the screws on it though. I think it's just one step closer to snap it into again. That was not good. Haven't hit a shot like that in a long time. And I think it's just this hole, so. All right, not in bad shape. Caught that one a little spinny, a little short. Pin is kind of back right corner. We're gonna send it up over this tree, roughly 65 yards left. Behind the camera for the first time today, we got a tall task of my uh, panning abilities right now. We'll see how it goes. Not our best right there. Kind of went under that, got a little scoopy scoopy. Let's get this one up and down. Scoopy scoopy. Interesting use of words. Yeah. All right, there's where it ended up. A little green to work with. Not the ideal location. Let's get it up and down. Tapping in for his bogey. All in all, not a bad bogey. Bogey golf. It's all right. Especially considering a 100-yard drive. All righty. We are in with the four. That was a solid up and down right there. Probably got a little too aggressive. Probably should have laid back on the tee. Get myself a good angle and a good number into that pin. Wanted to get up there close, try to chip it up close to make another birdie. However, we'll take par from where we put ourselves. I'm currently at two under. Andrew is four over through five holes. Andrew's in great shape to, you know, maybe get close to that breaking 90. Kind of that's where he's trending towards. So four more holes. Let's see where he ends up. So golf's a game of misses. Andrew missed his driver for 100 yards total. Made an amazing bogey. After a phenomenal hybrid, great chip shot that kept him out of trouble, had a chance for par, didn't make the putt, but made no worse than five. And that's what you gotta do if you wanna keep it under 90, folks, is turn your misses, get back in play, 
to get under 90, make bogey, no worse. What coach says. Number six, par five, 539 yards. Green sits off kind of back in there, but our tee shot, we're gonna be aiming at that tree. Too high, let it fly. All right, Andrew, I'm gonna need you to do just that. Exactly that. Can I just take his? I'll just drop <laughs> up there next to him. Oh, he's leaking right. I think he's gonna be taking a drop, maybe. Bummer. I felt so good about that, and then I just whip. Yeah. Great shape right here. 250 yards left, middle pin, it's go time. I didn't come here to lay up. That was a little bit of a double cross right there. I was trying to play the high cut and hit the low left pull straight kind of shot. However, we were aiming left because a good miss was going to be left. Gives us a lot of green to work with. Didn't want to miss that shot right. We're in good shape. Let's get it up and down for bird. Andrew's going on a little bit of an adventure here. Not a great hole, I think. What are we looking at? Uh, a lot. A lot of power. I just hit like a six iron, like 250 or like 190 maybe, but <laughs> you know what? That's like 30, 40 yards more than I have hit it recently. So we'll take it. Like I said, a great miss right here. Tons of green to work with. Andrew is right back over there. He needs to get his up and down for bogey. 190, more like 220. Whew. Dude, that was a great chip. It needs to settle. 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 That was the right technique. A little long. That was huge. Another tweeter. Let's go. Nice. No one cares about your, what are you, three under, four under? Three under. Oh, well, I mean, if you're a four under, yeah. Focus, focus, focus on the green. A rod 17 for his triple bogey. Okay, so we stopped that putt right there. I didn't want y'all to have to witness Andrew missing a two-footer for his triple bogey. He ended up making a quad. That was a nine from Andrew. I made birdie. I'm at three under. Andrew is at eight over currently. Still within reason to break 90. Your thoughts, sir? He's speechless. And that is rare. No, I just hate it. I feel like if I could just throw out one hole per nine... I would be a formidable golfer to say the least. But one hole just eats me up. It's sad. Hate to see it. Oh well, I'm gonna get him on this next hole. Birdie. Number seven, par four, 421 yards. Can't see the green from here. Kind of goes down the hill over that rise pretty straight away. It's a little left, it looked like it hopped down the hill, maybe back to the fairway, we'll see. After what y'all just witnessed, the good news is, there's no way he could take a penalty stroke. Don't say that, <laughs> don't you say that. <laughs> We've got rough over here that's about 50 yards down range. We got rough to the left that extends out 100 yards. We don't need that sort of negativity, thoughts in my head. Oh. That was hit well. It is fading right. But Matt had a point. We're still in play, I just think, on another fairway. So, Matt, why does Andrew keep missing that big miss to the right? So, we've, obviously, as you guys know, we talked about his path being way to the left. 
so in some cases when we try to shift our path to the right the club face shifts with it and then kind of the face stays open a little bit so sometimes it moves the path but the face is a little open so it's just kind of a push unlike this one where he kind of went back to his old swing a little bit swung a little left face was actually somewhat square to the target probably and just kind of hit a high peeler out to right field and he got it back in the heel a little bit would be another guess of mine too and now it's just a matter of mind over matter coming down the stretch can you put together the new feels when it matters the most you hate to see that just missing the fairway 125 yards left kind of middle left pin right there let's knock it close the shot's playing a little downhill, a little down breeze, and out of the rough, it might jump just a little bit. So I've got sand wedge in hand. Might have played that a little too conservative. I was afraid on the flyer. Didn't quite jump as much as I thought, but we did the proper evaluation of the shot. Our miss was in the right place short left of that whole location you do not want to be long here still have an outside chance at birdie probably about 35 feet left let's roll the rock and with the four here on seven all right that leaves me at three under through seven holes andrew made a double bogey there Moves them to 10 over par, two holes left for the nine. I know, just falling apart, could use some stamina. I don't know. I've just lost it the last two holes. I've lost whatever I had early on. Got to regroup, got to maintain my focus. I thought you had runner's legs. Well, I do, but I've been running. Runners get tired, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Number eight, par four, 393 yards. The green sits off back in there, a little dog leg to the left. Our aiming point is going to be right in there with hybrid. The stinger cut driver missed the tree. I think I hit that like 180 yards. <laughs> I hope that cleared that bunker. So as a coach, you always want to root for your player, but in the back of your mind, you know their limitations. If he didn't end up in that bunker, it would have been good. Somehow, somehow. I hate to say it, but he's got a good point. I am <laughs> awful out of bunkers. Thankfully, it just skirted the bunker. He's not in bad shape. With not much green long or right, a little short left was a great shot, roughly 30 feet left for birdie. That was a huge comeback par putt right there, let's go. All right, we have Andrew here. Putting for his par. Oh, I and pushed that so much and I crushed it. It's a little long. We are through eight holes. I'm three under. Andrew, we did spare you after he hit the par putt. He hit a few more putts. He ended up with the triple bogey there. Moves him to 13 over. I mean, I'm, I'm so depleted right now. But you know what? All it takes is one good swing to end the day to get me right back in the saddle of me thinking I'm going to be shoot, shooting 72, 71 next time I'm out here. So confidence, low, one good shot, confidence right back where it is. Number nine, par three, down the hill, 195 yards. That was his best swing in the day right there. If that's a good number, it is fading right at it. Get in the hole. 
I've got no eyeballs. Where'd that end up? It landed front edge and kind of just sat right there. It should be an uphill putt for bird. That was a beautiful shot, I know. Thank you, you can compliment me in the comment section below. Look at this shot from Andrew. I'm a little long, just right there. Great shot. I think someone's closer. You might be, I may be out. That's a three for me here on nine. Did he do it? Oh. He do it? Oh. I mean, do we count that? <laughs> that was a knee knocker. <laughs> He's in. Well, that was so much fun. I finished at three under 32. This was a par 35, so that left me at 32. Andrew is 13 over 48. What are your thoughts after this round? This was kind of an assessment round to see what breaking goal he's gonna be striving for. I mean, on the good holes, I mean, I was playing as good as you were. I mean, let's be honest. Uh, unfortunately, there was only like one, maybe two of those holes. Had a terrible time on the green on the last, like three out of the last four holes. Had a beautiful shot on two. Two, two. two with the birdie. Probably the I mean, best shot I've ever seen from you. You had two good shots like that. Last Thank hole. You. Last Thank hole, you. that was a great iron Thank in there. You. So coaches recap, we have three things we have to do to break 90. We can't be obstructed, so we had two penalty pops. Yep. We gotta get our first wedge on the green. Failed at that once. Yep. And you can't have any three putts. We even had a four putt with two three putts. That's hard to do. So you knock out a four putt, two three putts. There's four strokes right there and we're sub 45 for nine. Probably need to let this blister, zoom in, zoom in. This blister heal before I play bogey free golf, I don't know how I'm playing with it. That mixed with my lower back slash hip flexor concern issue. My misses were in proper places. Very happy with that, very happy with the score. Andrew, on your round, give us one thought moving forward. It's not about how you start, not about how you play in the middle. It's about how you finish, finished wonderful finish to scratch golfer so that's what i'm taking into the next round scratch golf love it love the confidence if y'all enjoyed this video drop a like down below make sure to check out matt check out andrew i'll drop their links in the description down below and y'all until next time we'll see you when we see you peace later